After the Nazi rise to power and before the outbreak of war in 1939, the Nazi party advanced policies that were meant to result in the removal of the Jews from Germany and the Third Reich. To this end, they passed various laws restricting Jewish life. Severe financial decrees left the Jews impoverished, divesting them of their property. These edicts stemmed from the Nazi view that all Jewish capital was in fact stolen capital from the Aryan race, as well as from a desire to make their lives more difficult. Simultaneously, the Nazis employed violence, destroying Jewish stores, homes, and synagogues. In addition, they began implementing the separation of Jews from the rest of German society and passing laws that revoked their civil rights and citizenship. This, in an attempt to cause the Jews to emigrate from Germany at first voluntarily and beginning in 1938 by force. On the 1st of September 1939, the Germans invaded Poland, thereby adding two million more Jews to the territory they controlled. The Germans began with the mass expropriation and murder of thousands of Polish Jews, separating them from Polish society in the most brutal manner possible and conducting mass arrests. Jews were denied all financial possibilities and kidnapped to serve as forced labor. The solution, as the Germans saw it, and which seemed feasible, was to concentrate the Jews in certain enclosed areas. In many regions, the Jews were concentrated in ghettos in preparation for a future policy, although there was no single clear and uniform directive dictating how they should be handled. At the same time, different Nazi authorities continued searching for a permanent territorial solution to the Jewish question. Among the possibilities considered were the Nisko and Lublin plans, the deportation of the Jews to the east, and even the concentration of millions of Jews on the island of Madagascar. None of these plans were ever successfully implemented due to technical difficulties.